Hey, Chiefs Kingdom, we're closing in on 18,000 subscribers, and we can get there with your help. Training camp is underway. Football is back. This is the time to subscribe to the Kansas City Chiefs Report. Hit that big red button. Share that link below with a friend. It's youtube.com slash Chiefs TV. Big show planned for you guys, including could Kansas City trade for Xavier Howard. That and more starting right now. Harrison Graham here. You are watching the Kansas City Chiefs Report. You guys can follow me on Twitter if interested. More Chiefs news, rumors, and updates over there at HGramNFL. Let's explore an Xavier Howard trade here on the show. He has requested a trade from the Miami Dolphins. And, hey, if you're Kansas City, what's been one of the kind of bigger question marks this offseason? Cornerback, because you let Bashad Breeland walk in free agency. As of now, you kind of got Legereus Sneed, Charvarius Ward, Rashad Fenton, and DeAndre Baker. Uh, there's some question marks there, right? You could certainly benefit from an elite lockdown corner like Xavier Howard, which is what he is. The guy's a baller. He's a beast. We all know that. This is one of the top five, top three, maybe even arguably the best cornerback in the NFL. I would argue strongly that he was last year. Don't believe me? Well, how does 10 interceptions sound in 16 games? Yeah, that's pretty darn good. Also had 20 pass breakups a year ago. I'm a huge fan of Xavier Howard. I think if you put him on this football team, you might literally have not even a glimmer of a weakness if you added a player of his ilk. That's how good this roster already is, and that's how good of a player Xavier Howard is at the cornerback position. So what do you think? Be Brett, Brett Veach for me. Be the Chiefs general manager front office. Should the Chiefs trade for Xavier Howard? Type T for trade, type P for pass. I think it would be awesome. You're trying to win now, right? It's going to cost a lot, but uh, I would certainly explore it if I was Kansas City. Now, uh, for the financial ramifications are as fall. He has four years left on his deal, average per year for a new team taking on his contract, $12.3 million, over $12 million left in guaranteed money, signing bonus of $4.2 million. So if you sign him, A, you're going to have him under team control for a while, B, you'll probably have to give him uh, some kind of a raise, an annual, more guaranteed money. That's what he wants from the Dolphins. That's why he's upset. Maybe you uh, raise that to average per year to a higher number. We'll have to wait and see. Now, if you're Kansas City, if you're serious about approaching this, looking into doing this, the easiest way to clear enough cap space, just sign Tyre Matthew to a contract extension. Uh, that should have been done by now. I don't know why it hasn't been. He's only 29 years old. It's not like he's getting old. Uh, extend Tyron Matthews, save some money this year, and then go make a play for Xavier Howard. See if you can bring him uh, to this Chiefs defense. But extending Matthew is a step you're going to have to make to clear enough cap space. Uh, Howard right now is the sixth highest paid corner in the National Football League. Uh, he's you know near James Bradbury, Marcus Peters, some of these guys. But he wants to be in this territory. These are the top five guys, Jalen Ramsey, Marlon Humphrey, Tredavious White, Darius Slay, his own teammate Byron Jones, who is very good, but does not create the turnovers that Howard creates. He's certainly worthy of being top three there, up there with guys like Trey White. He is that good, he is that dynamic, and he creates a ton of turnovers. And if you're trying to imagine him in this Chiefs secondary, you've got Legereus Sneed, a player I'm very high on. He can be your number two corner. Howard can be your number one. And then uh, Rashad Fenton or Ward or Baker, these guys can compete to play in the nickel. Maybe Sneed is your nickel back in this scenario as well. He played a lot of nickel last year for you. Also, you've got options to mix and match. There's already competition there with guys like DeAndre Baker. But could you imagine Howard floating in this secondary uh, with Tyron Matthew back there as well? That's pick city. That's no fly zone. That's, that's you know, creating an excellent secondary with already an explosive offense and good football team. Like, I can't emphasize enough. If you can get Xavier Howard in your Kansas City, go do it. Because then at that point, your defense is being feared as well. Already a good defense, but the, he could make it great. That's how good of a player he absolutely is. So, let me know. Send in your best Xavier Howard trade ideas in the comments, draft picks, players, whatever it is. I want to hear it from you guys. Let me know what your Xavier Howard trade ideas are, and maybe we'll explore them on a future video. Now, today's show is sponsored by our good friends over at BetUS. A lot of you guys got in the betting game last year, but we're, you know, we're, re we're bringing it back this year because, hey, who doesn't want to make some money? And BetUS is our sports betting partner, and you can make some money all football season long. So here's what you got to do. You see our link below, chatsports.com slash Chiefs Bet. You got to go to that link, 
It'll take you to the BetUS website. Plug in that promo code Chiefs125. That'll get you 125% deposit bonus. Bet on NFL preseason games. Bet on NBA draft props tomorrow night. Put down 100 bucks, you'll get 125 bucks for free with that 125% deposit bonus. Quick reminder, got to use our link, chatsports.com slash Chiefs Bet. Use our promo code Chiefs125. You can DM me on Twitter if you have any questions at HGramNFL. A couple of training camp nuggets I'm going to get into. The new look offensive line. Well, it's even more of a new look O-line than maybe we even thought as uh, the Chiefs had their first training camp practice today. The starting five is a completely different unit uh, compared to what we saw at the end of last season. Five new starters. Now, one of the five is in the starting lineup that we saw in the Super Bowl, but he's at a different position. Brett Veach, which we've already diagnosed a lot this offseason, completely revamped this group. This was the starting five during training camp today. From left to right, Orlando Brown Jr., Joe Tooney, Creed Humphrey, the rookie out of Oklahoma, getting first-team snaps over Austin Blythe. Trey Smith, the rookie out of Tennessee, he's in the starting uh, unit over Laurent Duvernay-Tardif. Kyle Long is on uh, the pup list. And then uh, Mike Remmers, who started at left tackle in the Super Bowl, he's starting at right tackle over Lucas Niang for now. I'm fired up for this new offensive line. I think this group is going to be great. I think it's going to, you know, take a little bit of time. You don't just plug in five new starters and you're the best O-line in the league from day one, but this will definitely be a much better group than what we saw uh, late last season, especially in the Super Bowl when the Chiefs had a ton of injuries and Patrick Mahomes was running for his life. How confident are you in this year's offensive line? Scale it from one to ten, one being not at all. It's going to be worse than the Super Bowl. Ten being this could be the best unit in the NFL. Well, I guess seven or eight. I think this team will be, or this whole line will be good. Should be a top ten offensive line, maybe top five if a couple of things really come together, especially with the younger guys. Let me know. Scale it from one to ten. Now the NBA draft is set to take place tomorrow night, and we will have live coverage of every single pick on our main Chat Sports YouTube channel, YouTube.com/ChatSportsTV, starting at 6:30 Eastern. The draft will start at 8 Eastern. We will be live 90 minutes before at 6.30, so go subscribe, youtube.com slash chatsportstv, turn on the notifications over there, mark your calendars, join us, we will be live for every single pick. Myself, Chase Sr., the entire Chat Sports team is ready to rock and roll. Let's have some fun during the NBA draft on Thursday night. You look at uh, the starting offensive linemen uh, that are the starting O-line for the Super Bowl, the Chiefs tried it out there, yeah, this was bad. Mike Rimmers, Nick Algretti, Austin Ryder, Stephen Wisniewski, Andrew Wiley. Only Rimmers, as of now, will be a starter on this team. And at some point, Lucas Niang might take over at right, right tackle. If you're Patrick Mahomes, you got to be thrilled, right? Like, that is the one thing you had to address this offseason was the offensive line. You trade for Orlando Brown. You give Joe Tooney the bag. You draft uh, uh, Creed Humphrey at center, and you sign uh, Austin Blythe, a veteran center as well. You sign Kyle Long. You draft Trey Smith. Lucas Niang is back. Like, Patrick Mahomes is a happy man, or at least he should be, because he will have much more time to throw in the pocket this year than when he does into scramble mode. It would go into scramble mode. It will be more on his accord and not because uh, his O-line couldn't block for more than a second like we saw in the Super Bowl against the Buccaneers. Which linemen are you most excited for uh, for this uh, new offensive line? I'm excited to see Orlando Brown at left tackle, but all these guys should be a lot of fun, should be a fun group. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Which O-linemen are you most excited for this season? Real quick before we sign off, Frank Clark is in attendance at Chiefs training camp. Did practice today. Of course, he still has ongoing legal issues for uh, rolling out in L.A. County with an Uzi in his backseat. But uh, as soon as we get more info on that, we will certainly bring that to you. Uh, unclear if and or when a suspension will come. I would expect a suspension will come between now and week one. But uh, uh, clock's ticking for Roger Goodell and the commissioner's offense. So we will have to wait and see. There he is uh, strolling up to training camp earlier today. So, uh uh, he was there, already threw a couple of uh, pieces of equipment to the fans out there uh, after practice as well. So good thing is he's there. He's in attendance. He's practicing. Uh, he appears to be in good shape. Obviously, the Chiefs need Frank Clark uh, to play because they're somewhat thin at defensive end. 
I believe they'll miss him for at least a few games at some point this season. Uh, so it's at least good to have him out there getting these reps to get ready for the upcoming season. Because when he does miss time, uh, you're going to need guys like Michael Dana, Alex Okafor, Taco Charlton. Obviously, Chris Jones will play some defensive end as well. Those guys are going to have to step up. And then when Clark comes back, assuming he does get suspended, hopefully that they've held down the ship until then. So good to see him out there. Good to see him running around, uh, getting some practice work in. Big year for him. It was already going to be a big year for him prior to the legal issues, but uh, he has not performed up to that contract yet. So hopefully, hopefully he has a big year when he is on the field. Will Frank Clark get suspended? Type Y for yes, type N for no. Go ahead and guess it for me. I think he will. Probably two to four games. We will see what Goodell and the commis commissioner's office decides to do. Vote on this. Don't forget to get going with BetUS, chatsports.com slash ChiefsBet, promo code Chiefs125, and we will see you next time here on the Chiefs Report.